Good afternoon, and welcome to another episode of Ziggy's Workshop. In today's episode, I'm going to show another jig that I've made for my workmate 425. Uh, the versatility of this piece of equipment is amazing. If you just think a little bit and put a little bit of thought into what it is you need and how you can achieve it. Um, I have a project coming up that requires me to do a lot of molding work. One of the things that I don't have in my workshop is a miter saw table with extension wings. But I do have a workmate and I do have a little bit of ingenuity and I do have some scrap wood. Uh, combining those items, I've come up with an idea uh, to have a miter saw with extension legs, and uh, I hope you like it. So I've already gone ahead and removed the middle panel of the Workmate 425 and moved the back panel forward, uh, opening up the clamps so that it can receive a 2x4. And what I've made here <coughs> is an insert that goes into the space in the clamps. Once this is installed, I've marked little marks here uh, to make sure it goes into the same position each time. And I simply lock this in. I now have extensions running out either side of the workmate work surface. This clamp that you're seeing here, uh, I don't want to block it from your view, which I will do in a moment, uh, is going to be utilized to hold my miter saw in place uh, for this operation. I'll show you how that works in a moment. So what I need to do, or what I needed to do, was figure out the height of the table of the saw and get these to line up so that when I put a piece of molding on, like this, that they are flat across. Um, in my case, I needed to raise the level of this to the level of this by inserting blocks that are about an inch and three quarter long. Different saws are going to have different measurements. Don't use these measurements. And you could, I used scrap pieces of wood. You could bring these in right up to the edge of the saw if you like. I didn't think it was going to be necessary. I just needed something to hold the ends while um, while I was, you know, cutting the long pieces of wood. Um, you line this up so that the back edge is about as straight as you can get it. Um, I have this clamp positioned in a hole, and it clamps on the back leg of the saw locking it into position. These clamps are made by Miles Craft and the way they work is they insert into the dog holes. Um, there is a large nut on the bottom and they screw up tight against the bottom of the table and then they can move around a bit and they clamp down. I'm not going to install this one back here for sake of time, but they just hold down and hold the saw into place. Um, I've used this already. It works out very well. Um, I, I've started the project. Um, it holds it just enough. It's not the most accurate jig in the world, and it was not intended to be. It was just to hold the ends so I didn't need to have a helper with me. Again, it's scrap wood. It's shy of eight feet long. These boards are about three feet long each or so. Actually, 
They're about 33 inches long each. Um, and as with all my projects, I apply polyurethane to all surfaces. I rounded all of these edges off with a router um, so that if I slide something across, if it dips a little bit, it'll ride right back up on top. Um, I did the same thing here and I, I actually rounded every part that I could with the router just so that when I go to handle it, I don't pick up any splinters or anything like that. I could go further and glue a measuring tape on here and figure out what the center is. You could take that to the next level if you wish. I've not seen anybody on the YouTube channels come up with this idea. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good one. I hope you do too. Um, as always, please like and subscribe to our channel. Good luck with your projects. Have fun and thank you for your time. Have a great day.